Understanding the leap second problem. So we know about the leap second problem. It's only us humans who care about keeping the solar day in sync with atomic clocks. Computers don't really care. Computers only care that time increases monotonically. We humans decided all computers should start counting from the year 1900. Every time a leap second occurs, it is as if the computer's time scale stops and a new one is started. This discontinuity in computer time becomes problematic as more automated processes are run across distributed computing systems at ever-increasing speeds all over the world. Computers use network time protocol to adjust their clocks and accurately synchronize to other computers known as NTP servers that are precisely set to atomic time via GPS signals. But NTP only goes so far. It tells the computer a leap second is coming, since the server knows about it from GPS. It is up to the operating system and application developers to make sure the leap second computes under three possible scenarios. Don't leave it to chance. If you are running a critical infrastructure, evaluate and test how you may be vulnerable to a leap second. We can help at Spectracom.